Hello everyone and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. We're looking at the 27th to, of February to the 5th of March 2023 and the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates as always. I'm a little bit late doing these readings. I've just had a number of things going on in other areas of life uh, which has kind of taken my time but we're going to look at these readings now and see what's to come for the next seven days. So without further ado, let's get straight into the readings and I wish you a wonderful week. Libra, let's see what we have for you. This is for Libra Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So let's see what we have for our lovely Librans. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Libra. Message for Libra for the week. Message for Libra for the week. Thank you. Thank you. The Nine of Wands, Two of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands, The Fool, Three of Pentacles, We have the Page of Cups and we have the Five of Wands. Libra, we have the Nine of Wands. So you're tired. Uh, this is, I don't know if I want to go on or if I'm, you know, do I keep on plowing on? Do I keep on keeping on? This is just being at the stage here where something is, is tiring you. I just feel this sense of exhaustion and tiredness. I mean, you know, it can be when we're tested in some way. It could be from an experience, and this feels more like a work scenario here. But it can also be, you know, when we're, we're tested because physically we're tested, you know. Physically we've had to battle on. And it's like, oh, I just don't know if I can keep on going the way I'm going here. So it might well be that the journey to work has become too much. Uh, the location, the place to get to, you know, um, the working hours, you know, all of this thing is just like, I don't know if I want to keep on going on with this. That's the energy here. And again, the two of swords weighing up whether you liberate from the whole thing. I mean, it might well be also that you're waiting on a decision if you've been pursuing something else. Uh, because again, the, the fool can be about liberation, carving out a brand new path. So this can be you're either you're to make a decision on whether you liberate from something that has just become uh, too too difficult, uh, too tiring as well. Or again, it could well be also you're waiting on a decision and you can finally liberate from this and carve out a brand new path for yourself. And the changes with the Knight of Wands and the, the Fool energy, one is a little bit more heavy and taxing. And then this is just that light, airy, breezy energy, you know, where... You just feel like you're floating, you know. So this is definitely that feeling here of, of you want to uh, you want to shift that sense of, of weight. You want to you, you want to shift that sense of something that has been taxing or challenging in some way. It looks like you're going to get some good. I mean, the page of pentacles is good news and it links with the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. The Three of Pentacles, there is some kind of negotiation or compromise. So, you know, take it how you will. Uh, it can be linked with a new job opportunity, business opportunity, but there may well be some kind of compromise that you need to make here, Libra. And it's whether you're willing to make it. That's the energy here. The message is, do you keep on keeping on with the process that you're going through or the experience that you're going through in your current place of work? Or do you liberate and go for something new? That's the energy here. It looks like this is very good news for you um, in terms of business, career, finances. But there may well be some kind of compromise that you need to make. That could be a number of things. That could be money. That could be location. That could be the status. That could be the responsibility, the package, quality, what you will. There's some kind of compromise that's required here. So you're going to be faced with a choice, the two of wands. Do I stay where I am or do I go for this? That's the energy here. It's an empowered choice or decision. And the five of wands, I, I just feel this is inner conflict. 
you're conflicted because there's some kind of compromise that needs to be made. This is where someone's going to give you some advice. Again, it's advice from the heart. So I feel this is somebody who is connected to your heart. That could be parental, that could be friendly, it could be family, uh, love romance. But I feel somebody who you really do trust, somebody who is a good confidant of yours, they're going to give you some good advice in terms of what to do, what choice to make here. That's the energy that I'm seeing for you here, Libra, because you're going to be faced with a crossroads decision and you're, you're wondering if it's, if it's too much of a compromise to make or whether this is for you or not. I feel that if you seek counsel from somebody, the choice will become clear. Because again, you can see this person, they actually hold one wand, but they don't hold the other. So even though this represents a choice, clearly there's a, there's a kind of signal that I'm getting with this card of a choice is becoming clear by talking it through with somebody. Who will advise you in your best, for the best interests? That's what I'm seeing here. We have snake, kundalini rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality, welcome the transformation. Now, it's interesting that this card has come out because the snake can be linked with endings and beginnings. It can be that uh, linked with shedding of an old skin, releasing the old in order to welcome the new. So that can be some of the energies here. Maybe spirits bringing in that to the reading for a reason. And we have monkey, inner child, don't take life too seriously. It's weighing up the compromise versus your current situation, which seems to be a bit taxing here and tiring uh, and making the right choice for you. That's the energy here, Libra. That's what I have for the reading. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.